This past Friday, the world lost a comedy icon. Las Vegas resident and good friend of The Moore Show, Louie Anderson, passed away at the age of 68. Yeah, and this morning we're bringing in Mike Davis as we remember Louie. And I know, Mike, you did a great couple stories with him. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, you know, this weekend I reflected a lot over the weekend about Louie and my short time with him. And it's crazy because Louie Anderson was just larger than life, yet he was one of the most down to earth people I've ever met. Authentic, hilarious and kind. Here's how I will remember Louie. Guys, it, it doesn't get better than this. I get to hang out with Louie Anderson three hours. That's how much time I had with Louis Anderson last year on June 3rd. I was meeting Louis at his house in Henderson to preview his latest show, Louis Live from Las Vegas, a virtual stand-up performance. And right from the start, we hit it off. You've been an actor, a comedian for such a long time, and I was looking up the first time you performed on Carson in 84. Yeah, and seems you're like yesterday, Mike. You were 29, my age, yes. and you were so poised, so polished. How did you get so good at such a young age? I was prepared, you know. I When I got The Tonight Show, I was like ready to do nine different Tonight Show sets. That moment really set the course for the rest of your career because th back then, it, it, he was a kingmaker, he Johnny was. Carson. He was. You weren't nervous. I was nervous, excited nervous, but I was too much dependent on it. You know, your first shot, you know? Because that next day I got a holding deal from NBC. The next week I was opening for the Commodores on the Strip in oh Vegas. Oh my God. And my whole life changed. Before his life changed and before Vegas, Louis was just a kid in Minnesota. The second youngest of 11 children, his father was a jazz musician, but it was his mother who inspired his comedy. A comedy competition in 1981 changed his life as Louis won the first place prize. Legendary comedian Henny Youngman hosted the competition and then hired Louis as a writer. From there to Carson and beyond, Anderson continued his rise. For 10 years here, I had uh, my own shows and uh, Vegas has been very good to me. From touring to hosting Family Feud and having success as a published author, it was perhaps his Emmy-winning role as Christine, a mother of twin sons on the comedy series Baskets that meant the most to him. I guess you could move in here until you get on your feet. He based the character on his mother and five sisters. It was evident how proud Louis was of that performance, channeling his mom for the character of Christine Baskets. On and off air, Louis couldn't help but to perform impressions of his mother growing up. I was lucky enough to jump in with Louis and try my hand at playing Christine. It's a memory I will never forget. Let's do a quick chip. You Can ready? we do a quick chip? Yeah. Let's hear you Wine. do it first. Okay. Chip! <laughs> chip! <laughs> Mike's here for more. We're on more, right. Chip. I want to do this with you and you. All right, you ready? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Chip! 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 Mike's sad. <laughs> Connecting on air is one thing. Connecting when the cameras are off, that's another. I live for memories, I think we all do. And I try to create moments on TV that not only viewers can cherish, but that I can too. But sometimes it's the moments waiting to go on TV that mean the most. Before, after, and in between our two interviews, Louis sincerely inquired on my life and my dreams. Sternly, he imparted wisdom. I won't share everything, but he left me with this. You have the talent, but do you have the drive? Do you want to be liked or to be successful? It's a hard question with a harder answer. Thankfully, we had Louis to answer it. He is going to be missed. And when it comes to Vegas, Louis absolutely left his mark, performing on many stages across the Strip, including Bally's, Excalibur, Palace Station, the Plaza, Red Rock, and many more. His final shows were at the Laugh Factory at the Tropicana on May 8th and 9th. And personally, very quick, guys, I just want to share this memento with you. So I take handwritten notes before I do every interview. Uh, for more and morning news, all that stuff. And I actually kept hmm. my handwritten notes that 
I was taking with Louie, not only the notes I took before the interview, but I actually, he was giving me so much wisdom that day for those three hours that I have a whole page of notes of life advice that he gave me. And I, um, I held on to it this whole time and obviously I'm always gonna cherish it. You but. probably like walked away, you're like, I should have paid for that. Like, I mean, I got three hours of, of great it, advice from a legend. Exactly. You know what? I've, I've never been to a therapist, but that was the best therapy <laughs> session I ever had in my entire life. It was funny, and it was just super smart. And, um, you know, it's amazing yeah. to be successful, to be liked, and he mastered it. Yeah, so, he did. You know. he, he's, been a, he's been on the show so many times. He always came in when we, when we wanted him to. And, you know, I kind of feel like... Uh, Louis is the type of guy that if you called him and you had a flat tire, he would, no, no matter his status, he would come and help you. I'm telling you, yeah. you're right. He would, yeah. It's those Midwestern values. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Great story, yeah, that was Mike. Yeah, a beautiful tribute, Mike. Yeah. Thank you.